So, time to make a little longer video summarizing things. I haven't really had time now for a while. So, let's start first things first. Uh, well, I am at a new place as you can see, but we will get into that. But I thought I was going to summarize my stay in uh, Hokkaido overall. And the funny thing is that when I was in Chibetcha, I was kind of like, oh yeah, but it's going to be fun to get to the city, to get to Sapporo. But now, in retrospect, I'm, I'm more happier. I'm more happier. I'm happier that I went to Shibetcha than Sapporo. The nature there was so beautiful and I definitely want to go back to some of the same places summertime and also because you can do much more hiking then because now with the extreme much snow it doesn't work. So I definitely want to come back there summertime and just hike around. And yeah, I made this new friend. Uh, he was a, f a co-worker of my host. And he also does LARPing, so we've been talking a lot these days, back and forth about LARPing. He's going to set up his own LARP there in Chicago. And uh, yeah, so that's awesome. Um, it's going to be called Kingdom or Dragonstone, one of those two. Uh, I think he has plans of more than one LARP. That's awesome. So, because LARP is not really a thing in Japan, so he really wants to take it there. Uh, he's, he's from Germany, so that's awesome. But anyways... Um, because in Sapporo, I don't know, <laughs> it's so funny because they have like this Sapporo, the city that smiles, you know, Sapporo with a smile, and it's like, I'm not smiling, I'm really not smiling. It's, it was fine, absolutely, and they had some fun stores, and I, I could definitely have walked around more, and I think there was much more to see and do, I definitely believe that. And just walk, uh, walking past, and like, oh, I want to go to those places, but I didn't have time. I think I would have been happier if I could have gone to Sweden Hills, but that didn't work out, as you know, unfortunately. And I was kind of, I wanted to go to Tomikage, uh, where Erased was kind of filmed, because that would also have been cool. And travel around a bit more. But it's so easy on the map, like, oh yeah, we'll just go there and there. And then when you're actually there and realize that, okay, these are some quiet big distances. It's not that easy to travel around. But um, next time, I'm definitely going to come back to Hokkaido. It was so beautiful around that part where I were. And also areas... They have like... Like Jukasjärvi in Sweden, like the ice hotel. But it's not an ice hotel. You know, like it's not the Swedish ice hotel. But they have like an ice village and like ice bar and like everything kind of the same. So that's super cool in like the middle of Hokkaido. It's like, yeah, there's so much in, like in the middle and eastern part. So I definitely want to go back there. I'd highly recommend yeah, and Sapporo was kind of a letdown, like the snow festival wasn't that great, and yeah, I don't know. I don't know, but the Hus family, they were great, and they were super nice, and they're not going to be in Sapporo, they're actually going to move. Uh, and he said, I'm welcome back, so it's like, yeah, definitely, because then I don't have to go back to Sapporo to meet them. Because um, then it's not like a detour, because uh, yeah, they're not even going to be in Sapporo, great, so I get to meet them, and I don't have to go to Sapporo. And I swear to God, I... A Sapporo station hate that place. Like it gets gets minus seventy three beers out of five points. You know, it's just like every time I've been there, I've been lost. It's just huge, and, and like today, like I, I I might have cried a lot um, because it was like okay, I'm gonna have like one and a half hours there, but that's fine. But I went around for fifty minutes, and I was kind of at the right place every time. But it's like it wasn't clearly signed or anything. It wasn't it wasn't clear where to go or where what to do. Where it wasn't obvious that oh it's that bus because it says on it with big letters no, or it says uh, airport on it with big letters no. So it, it was just so hard to know. Uh, and yeah, technically it, it's in Victoria. It's not nothing to get upset about if you take the. It's like no, but it's not that I can't find it. But it's also because I have my fucking bags with me. Which makes it so hard. It's like, it literally hurts to drag them around for a lot of time. And like being short on time, like for my flight that I already paid over price for, it's like, no, no, I'm definitely not gonna. Yeah, so the, the, t the today, the first half of today was not nice. And then at the airport, right before I, I showed the like boarding pass, I was gonna go like onto the plane. I thought, oh, but they usually have like vending machines with food. They had it last time at the airport. 
not this place but I bought some uh, lemonade it's like I need something to drink on this four hours flight um, so I bought this lemonade couldn't show you because I was in a hurry but it was nice would drink again Yes, I thought I would get some food, but I did not. But they had on the plane, so that was fine. And then I got up at the airport. And since then, things started to become better. I got my luggage immediately, pretty much. And that was nice. And then I didn't know... Because it was like, oh, if you want to go outside to get the bus, I just looked outside, like, all the way to the left, all the way to the right. So, like, I don't know which one. Because, once again, it wasn't clearly signed. Um, and there was, oh, maybe your bus is on the second floor. So, like, they have a second floor like they have literally go up a flight of stairs it's like okay this is too big i'm not gonna randomly run around here so i asked someone and she's like ah oh, bus 120 and she's like ah oh, number three so she like went outside and then like a bus came instead of 120 i'm like thank you um so that's nice and then the bus ride took two hours which we it was supposed to take one and a half but yeah anyways uh, long at last I arrive um, he doesn't answer <laughs> so like I, I find the apartment the room I fling plong fling plong I was like okay 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 he said he was gonna be home because that, that's also because we said I was gonna be here at 8 this evening but then I wrote to him like oh actually he's like oh where, where are you and tell me when you get going like when you're like half an hour away from here I was like well actually I'm in Okinawa now <laughs> like yeah three hours earlier than I previously said because I had to take another flight because my first flight didn't work um, and he's like oh but you can come immediately and I was like oh thank god <laughs> that's, that's nice so I don't just have to sit and wait so it's like oh awesome so I got going on bus 120 came here doesn't answer the door I'm like why you no answer but then he came just like a few minutes later uh, he was out buying some eggs <laughs> But yeah, uh, so we, uh, I don't know, we took a little drive. He showed me American Village. Uh, I can actually show you. I don't know. That's, yeah, you, that's literally like the, the building you see there, that that's part of American Village. Um, so just driving through, it looked really nice. I will take it there one evening and, and show you because it looks so pretty with all the lights. And then we uh, bought some burrito. Uh, it tasted very very nice, but we were sitting here, so I didn't film it. Yeah. So. Oh, nice. <laughs> That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, I think it's weird. Like I just met, met a person. It's like, oh, by the way, let them film while we eat. It's so weird. Uh, but the burrito was so nice. I'm super happy. I should have bought a bigger one, but it was extremely nice. Can't say it was Japanese, but it was very very delicious much happy with the burrito and then i bought some candy no i think i actually hid the candy because i ate too much <laughs> i was like victoria this needs to stop you are eating too much sugar um so yeah i actually hid the candy but i will show you another day because fuck it was good it was so good i had to hide it obviously yeah um yeah time to show you the view i said i would did it i will show you tomorrow morning as well can we get some darkness in here yeah but you can kind of see looks like I think not that part over here that's American village but yeah it's a very 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 nice view so yeah I don't know, oh, yeah, like I mentioned, it's very warm, like when I landed with the plane, it was like super, super warm. And then it started raining, I was kind of bad weather, on the like when I was on the bus and when I got off, it's very cloudy and windy, but it's still warm. It's like, for all you Swedish people out there, a, a normal summer night, you know, like when it's just you go outside and, it, and it's dark, but it's still warm. It's just nice to hang around outside and it's like, that's how it is. And it's like... This is nice. This is nice. Um, so I, I, I do like the weather so far, but we'll see tomorrow. Um, gotta go out and work on that sunburn. No, but I actually don't know what to do tomorrow. I'm thinking if I'm, because if I'm gonna do get a diving certificate, it's over like three days. So I need to start 
literally tomorrow <laughs> if I'm gonna be able to take it in time before I leave here or I um, uh, but then I need to find one di a diving place and go by the bus there was this awesome market thing that I want to visit but I think I'm gonna do that at the end of the trip because like oh this looks like a place where I could spend a lot of money so let's <laughs> let's do this later <laughs> later on um, yeah I don't really know but uh, we'll see Good night.